hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be creating a fairy tale look by making a high low layer to dress my name is Ajilan. if you're new here you're welcome consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos so if you're interested in this topic let's get started here are the materials needed to make this beautiful piece as you can see i have two different colors of my net and of course i have my satin and my cotton lining so i'm going to start by drafting out a full circle as you can see my um, satin is already in four fold same way you fold when you want to make a full circle dress. but before that i would like us to know that there are over 10 ways of making a high low layer dress we have the straight high low cut we have the diagonal high low cut we have the curved the cascading the layer the zigzag the fringe the pointed the scallop and of course the ruffle high low cut so today i'll be combining both the layered and the ruffle high low cut so i'll just go ahead and mark out on this point here i'm going to be marking out using the waist measurement divided by 6.28 which is the formula for a full circle so if i do that i'll have three inches and then you're going to be adding the length that you want the back side to have for this design you can also make the um, the low part to be by the side so you choose where you want the low part to be so for this i'll be making the low part to be at the back so you measure what you have from the waist to the hem or wherever you want the length of the dress to be so for this i'll be making it 18 inches then i'll add whatever i have after dividing the waist measurement by 6.28 so i have 3 plus the 18 that should give me 21 so i'll just go ahead and mark 21 all the way around okay if you're a returning subscriber you should be familiar with this by now i think i need to get a clearer chalk so you can see what i am doing very well so I'll just quickly do that and then cut it out before we continue all right i have my full circle cut out here as you can see remember i am using the length that i want the back side to have which is going to be the low part so i am working with 18 inches this dress is for a year plus so i'm using 18 inches for the back side so we're going to create the the high side which is supposed to be at the front so i'm going to open this side now okay so this end will be the back while this side is going to be the front so this is the back and then this is the front and then this line here is going to be the side line all right so for the front now you decide how high you want the front part or the side depending on where you want to place the high low so for this high part for this front i'll be making it um 11 inches so i'll just go ahead and mark my 11 inches for the front side so this is 11 inches so i'm going to connect it in a way that is going to touch that side line there so we can have the high low effect so from this point here i'm going to connect it to make sure that it will meet up to this point that i have here sometimes you don't need to start from here you can even extend it a bit to the back side so you can have it well curved to meet up to this end so i'm going to do that you can see i'm starting from here this is like three to four inches from this back side okay so this is 4.5 if you want you can also take from here but this is just optional i just want this to give me the exact curve that i need on this part so i'm going to move it there like this and make sure that it will meet up to that front side okay you can see what i have so i'm going to cut it that way and curve it in back to this hem line so i'll just take my scissors now and cut before we now create the layer so for the layers you can decide how many layers to use whether to use three or four depending on what you have in mind to achieve at the end of the day okay so I'll just cut and then curve it in back to that hem line like so you can see what i have here so i'm going to open it up now you can see this is going to be the front side you can see i'm using this paper so you can see it very well you can see what we have here so this is the front and the other side is the back yeah 
so this is the shape i have so for the layers you're going to decide how many layers you want yours to have now if you want to make use of three layers you're going to divide whatever you have as the front um height measurement by three and then you're going to repeat the same for the back so for instance i am working with 11 i'm going to divide that by three and then i'm going to mark it then i'll come over to the back which is 18 or divide by three as well so let me start with the back side okay so this is the back side now i am working with 18 so if you divide that by three it's going to give me six so i'll just mark six until i have my three lines marked out so this is six this is six remember that this line now this is going to be the zipper area so after marking this out i'm going to slash it open for the zipper allowance so i'll go ahead and mark the six all the way around okay so i just quickly do this part okay you can see where i am stopping somewhere halfway to the front side so I'll just mark this part as well and stop there and then i'll go to the front side this is the front side i'm using 11 inches okay so we're going to divide 11 inches by three and mark that out as well okay so let us see you can just fold your tape in into three this way so you can get the right point okay so this is very fast for me so now this is the point there i'll go ahead and mark them out okay now you can see the first one i'm going to measure what i have this is 3.75 i'll go ahead and mark it again like i did for the back side and then i'll connect all right so now we are going to connect it to the to meet up to the first layer for the back side so you're going to trace it in a way that it will meet up to this back first layer so this is easy just trace it and move it until it will meet up to that one and you can see that we have our first layer created for this so i'll do the, the same thing on this other side as well this is 3.75 and then i'll also connect to meet up to this other end as well okay so you can see that i have my first layer created so now this is the second one i'm going to repeat the same to meet up to the back side as well so this is 3.75 3.75 i'll connect Okay, and then come over to the back side. I'm working with six inches for the back, remember? So I'll just mark that. This is six inches, and then I'll connect. I will now take this to meet up to that one as well. You can see the way I am moving it. For this one, there's so many ways of doing this. Okay, for me, this is the easiest. Even if you're a beginner, you can easily um, create this dress using this format. Okay, so this is 3.75 and for the back side this is six and then we are almost done with creating our layers after this now we are going to decide what to use or what to cut out on our neck okay so you see that my three layers is ready okay so this is one two three i remember that this line we are going to slash it open this is going to be your zipper allowance for the back side Alright, so I am going to repeat what I did now on my satin. Okay, I use this paper so you can see it very well. So I'm going to transfer all to the satin and then I'll come back so, so I can show you what to cut out on your net. So to the net now, you can see that I have my net already folded for easy cutting. So I have five yards here. This particular color is five yards. So I just folded it for easy cutting. Now remember that the first layer for the back side is... Um, six inches that is what i have so i'm going to be making it seven inches because of my sewing allowance so here i'll just cut out seven inches so there's a trick to this which i'll also show us as we proceed after joining this on the satin you're going to trim you're going to trim the net that is for the front side a little so that we can see have the high low effect 
the way we want it all right so we're going to take this one at a time so i'll just mark out seven inches for the first layer and then i'm going to gather this and then pull it till i have enough that will cover up the lines for the first layer all right i just finished gathering all my layers and you can see this is the first layer so before you cut out your second layer you need to sew the first layer that way you will know what to cut out for the second layer now this is where the little tree comes in after gathering your first layer this is how i'll be joining it so i'm going to start from the back okay and then i'll place it on the line that we marked and then i'm going to secure it that way. i'm going to sew it that way then getting to this front side that is high okay so this is how you're going to place it okay as you're sewing when you get to this front that is high all you need to do remember that as you're sewing your net is on the hem of the satin that is your net should tally with the length of the satin that is what i have here so i'm getting to this front side i will raise it up a bit so that my net will also tally with the front side now you can see that the line for this front does not really matter so you just take it up a bit so that it will tally with the length of the front side that way you will not exceed the length that you're working with okay when you get to this end all you need to do again is to is to adjust it so that it will also tally with the length on this back side so i'm going to stitch this now before cutting out the second layer so i will show you what i have after sewing this first layer this is my first layer after sewing it now you can see what i have here like i explained earlier make sure that your two align with the length of the lower part so now you're going to determine what to use or what to cut out on your net for the second layer all right so now this is the first layer and this is the line for my second layer this is the back side remember so you're going to place your tape and measure what you want to use for that okay so this is my tape and i'm placing it from the the line for the second layer and i'll be making this eight inches which is going to end here okay so this eight inches includes both the sewing allowance on this part so i'm going to be cutting out eight inches on my on my net and whatever you're using now for this second layer you're going to use the same for the last layer which is the layer, layer that will sit exactly on this waist line so now I'll go ahead and cut out my eight inches and then gather it as well and i'll follow the same method to sew that in on this second layer actually i have done that already this is the eight inches and you can see that i've gathered it so i'll just place it following the same method that i used for the first layer okay so i'm going to place it this way if you want you can also use your pin to secure it very well so that you don't make any mistake so i'll just place it like that okay i'm getting to the front side which is the high side i'm trying to arrange this very well so you see it okay so getting to this front side you're going to place it that way making sure that whatever you use whatever distance you have from the first layer to the second layer make sure that you have the same distance when you get to this front side so i'll just quickly arrange it you can see that the second line also for this front side does not really matter so i'll just follow that way and join it till i get to the end now for the last layer remember i said it's going to be the same inch uh, with the second layer so this is the last layer after joining the last layer which will sit exactly on this waist i will now trim off this high part that is for the front i'll just trim it a bit so so that to give the same inch that each of my layers is having so i'll just take this one at a time let me quickly join this and then sew in the last layer after sewing all the layers this is what i have here all right so before we continue i would like to remind us that our online classes are on so if you're interested in any of it just send me a whatsapp message on the number that will be dropping uh, dropping in the description box so you can know more details about the classes now you can see that from this point to this center front it is very close so this is where i'll be trimming off a bit so that it will end up the same length with the rest 
all right if you're a beginner you can skip this part you can just leave leave it as it is so that you don't end up spoiling the work so from this point you can see i'll just take my scissors and take it little by little okay so i'll just train just to reduce it to so that the the layers will will um, align with the rest so that this one will not look different so i'll just quickly do this part and then attach the bodies to it and i believe we were able to grab one or two things from today's tutorial so that is it for today please subscribe if you are not and then i will see you all in my next video